Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM, where all weekend we're paying our respect to the men and women who have paid the ultimate sacrifice to their country as part of our annual Memorial Day weekend war movie marathon. We begin tonight with a pair of films focused on the Korean War, the Forgotten War, as it's sometimes called. The war lasted three years, from June 1950 until July of 53. Up first, a powerful, gritty war picture, a low-budget effort from one of the mavericks of American filmmaking, Samuel Fuller. Released in 1951, written, produced, and directed by Fuller, The Steel Helmet. Fuller wrote the screenplay in a week, shot the picture in 10 days, and had it in theaters just six months after the start of the Korean War. The movie does not get caught up in any jingoistic, patriotic fervor. Fuller paints war unflinchingly as bloody, pointless, and dehumanizing. The Steel Helmet reminds audiences that many serving in Korea had also fought in World War II. Trauma was still fresh in their minds. Sam Fuller, a World War II combat vet himself, had seen serious action. With a background as a newspaper crime reporter, Fuller documented his wartime experiences in diaries that he mailed home to his wife. When Fuller arrived in Hollywood after the war, these diaries proved indispensable as he wrote The Steel Helmet. Fuller's goal was to show what he described as the organized insanity of war. The Steel Helmet touched the nerves of some important people in important places. We'll have those details after the film. The cast features Gene Evans, Robert Hutton, Steve Brody, and James Edwards, as well as 12-year-old William Chun as a character named Short Round, as a sign of the profound respect generations of filmmakers have for Sam Fuller. Steven Spielberg later borrowed the name for a character in the sequel to Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. The actor who played Short Round for Steven Spielberg, Ki Hui Kwan, just won the Best Supporting Actor Oscar for Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. This is from 1951, Sam Fuller's The Steel Helmet. The unexpected success of The Steel Helmet led to producer, writer, director Sam Fuller landing a contract with 20th Century Fox. His first feature for the studio was another Korean War story, Fixed Bayonets, also released in 1951. The Steel Helmet, grim and without a shred of pro-war hype, a serious skepticism and some controversy. The Army bristled at its depiction of the shooting of a prisoner of war. The Pentagon even accused Fuller, who earned the Bronze Star, the Silver Star, and a Purple Heart in World War II of writing anti-American propaganda. In his defense, Fuller said the killing of POWs was not unusual. He had seen it himself. Fuller even had his former commanding officer call up the Pentagon to confirm his claim. Fuller returned to war movies throughout his career. His final combat picture was The Big Red One from 1980, which closely tracked Fuller's own combat experiences. The film starred Lee Marvin and Mark Hamill, featured Robert Carradine as a character modeled after Fuller. There are no heroics in my pictures, Fuller once explained. These are survivors of war, and they do what they have to do to survive. I had another terrific Korean War picture, Gregory Peck, leads his man on a battle to retake a position that holds little value in the last days of the Korean War. Pork Chop Hill is next on TCM.